We are talking about food stamps, okay, or SNAP benefits. So if you or someone you know needs some assistance with buying food. Hello, honey bun. Hello my honey buns, it's your gal Lou or you could call me honey bun and in today's video we are talking about food stamps okay or snap benefits so if you or someone you know needs some assistance with buying food um, please stay tuned please watch this video because I got you all right all right y'all so let's go ahead and get into it first things first listen I'm a little bit under the weather again. So if I sound a little, that's why. But um, before I start giving y'all all the details, there's a few things that I really want to address about food stamps, government assistance, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, I feel like most of the people here on this channel and that have been finding my channel are, are grown folks. You know, y'all are 18 and up. Y'all are people that, you know, are looking for loans, looking for other ways to get money, all these different things like that. Um, so kind of feel like I don't need to have this conversation. But at the same time, I do because there's the stigma. All right. Don't let pride have you out here starving okay i know that people say all type of things about uh government assistance about food stamps and everything else under the sun they they have these stereotypes of people that receive assistance they you know they they have all these things that they say okay to make people feel bad about it let me tell you something do you see the price of the groceries do you see the price of the groceries? Do you see the housing costs? Do you see the price of gas? All these different things. If you out here hungry because you too prideful to get some help, you the problem. Don't don't starve, okay? There's so much help out here. There's so much there's just so many opportunities out here for you, all right? Um, so don't, don't let pride and all these different things have you hungry. Hold on y'all. Let me fix my camera real quick. All right, there we go. But yeah, um, I just wanted to say that don't worry about what people got to baby, take that food stamp card out with pride because anybody that got something to say about it, just mad because they don't have it. All right. They just mad because they don't have it. Every time you have a job. You're getting taxes taken out of your check, aren't you? Okay, so don't feel bad about getting some assistance is what I'm trying to tell y'all. All right. I just wanted to throw that out there um, because, I mean, I, I hear things, I see things, and I don't always agree with them. I will say there was a time in my life when I was like, you know what, I ain't, I ain't dealing with this. I ain't trying. And then I was like, you know what, girl, get the help. Get, get some help if you need some help. Let let somebody help you all right so that's what i want to say i feel like you clicked on this video for a reason so either you or somebody you know can use this information and when i tell y'all i have so much information this is just one video but lock in subscribe to my channel because baby let me tell you y'all want free phones free phone service free internet all these different things i got you i got you but for now in this video let's focus on the food stamps okay so for whatever reason you or somebody you know you need help with groceries okay um so i'm going to give y'all some tips of how to get your snap benefits okay and i am going to go down a list of all 50 states like i'm giving advice for all 50 states okay not just the people in my state before i tell y'all the websites and everything that you need to go through I want to give you some tips so that we can guarantee that you have a higher chance of getting approved. All right. So there have been several times in my life when I applied for food stamps and there have been times when I got approved. There are times that I got denied and I pretty much have figured out ways around getting denied if you get my drift. OK, so first things first, if you have applied and you've been getting denied, but you know that you don't have no money, you don't have no income, or you barely have income, and you, you don't understand why they're denying you, and you think it's because you don't have children, that's probably not why. It's probably something you're doing wrong on the application, all right? So when y'all fill these applications out, first things first, stop putting too much information. 
Fill out the areas that say required. There's certain information that is not required. And also there's certain information that you can be vague about. Um, you do not need to put anybody's information that lives in your house. You do not need to put nothing about nobody that lives in your house. Do you understand what I'm saying? If any, if you, if the place that you live in is in your name, you should be the only person on the application. If you are staying at a house that is somebody else's in your name, not on it, you're homeless. Okay. So you will put that you are staying with a family member. And when it goes to expenses, you will put that the expenses are paid by someone other than you. All right. If they ask you anything about the person that lives in that house, you do not need to put their, their social, you don't, anybody in that house. When they ask you, do they get benefits? Say no. You don't know. Maybe they do. Maybe it's five of y'all in that house and all five of y'all getting benefits. But whatever these other people got going on, you don't know. You don't know what they got going on. You do not know. So you put no. You put no, 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 no. Period. Anything concerning other people is no. Okay. Do you have a bank account? No. No, you do not have a bank account. And stop putting all these extra. Listen, if you can, don't put that you got a car and all that. Don't put that information on there unless you just, you know, now they might still if you do have a car that's currently in your name, they might ask you about it. If you if you do still have the car, you say, you know, yes, I have this car, whatever, whatever. But not some of the 10. Don't put no car on there. And if you have the interview over the phone or in person and they ask you about, hey, um, this, I don't know, this 2000 something Toyota just came up for you. Do you know anything about this car? I don't have that car anymore. What happened to it? I lost it because I couldn't afford it. Period. Stop telling too much information. Y'all telling too much information. Okay. Do you have any sources of income? No, you do not. Now, if you do have a legitimate job where you receive checks and you got taxes coming out, they are going to be able to pull that information. So be honest about that. But if you if you got money coming from little side hustles and little gigs and little things like that under the table, no, you do not put that information. That's TMI. Too much information. Do not put that. OK, um, it's not necessary. And all it's going to do is complicate things for you and make it harder for you to receive these benefits. Do not put that. OK, you do YouTube videos. Do not put that. Do not put that. OK, understand? Understand? <laughs> all right. Um, what else? Just just don't be putting too much information. OK, Um you're struggling. You ain't got no money. You need some money for food. Okay. You understand? You understand me. I hope you understand me. When they ask you how is your phone bill and all these other bills getting paid. You first of all you don't need to put none of those. You don't have none of those expenses because you can't even afford all that. But if they ask you. If for whatever reason, whatever bill, if they ask, they will ask like, how is the place that you live in being paid for by someone other than you? It's already taken care of. You have no clue. You know what I'm saying? How your phone bill getting paid? I don't have a phone bill. Don't have money for a phone bill. Utilities. I don't pay utilities because I don't have money for utilities. Do you get my drift? I live with a family member. Can't afford a place. Can't afford food. That's why I'm here applying. All right. Um, <clears throat> trying to help y'all because if you keep getting approved and you know that you're not barely making any money or you don't have a job, it's because you put in too much information. Okay. So let's not. Certain things are required and you do have to answer them, but be careful how you answer them. Okay. Um, what else? I'm just trying to make sure I give y'all like some important details. Um, for you to get approved before we go further. I really prefer, I, I'd say it's better to just fill it out online and then um, put that you, you're not able to get to a physical location. You don't have transportation. You can't get to a physical location. That way you can ensure that you receive a call over the phone. Be honest and clear, but be vague, okay? You're not lying, but you they don't need to know all of your business. They do not. Um, oh my goodness, how much battery do this thing got? Let me hurry up. Okay, 
So that's that. I'm trying to make sure. If you have children, you definitely should be getting approved. I'm not going to sit up here and say that it's easier if you have kids because sometimes they put y'all through the mess too. I see it. Um, but as long as you're answering things correctly and filling it out, you should be good. Another thing that I want to tell y'all is make sure that if they're asking you for documents, Upload your documents, especially if you're someone that has never had stamps before. You need to make sure that you upload your driver's license and I think it might be like a proof of address or something. Um, if you've had food stamps in the, in the past, they'll have all that on file and typically you don't have to re-upload it. If you can, get all your stuff electronically. That way you don't have to keep up with what's coming in the mail. Let me tell you, they will approve you for stamps. And if you do not stay on top of the correspondence, you can easily lose them after a month or two. So make sure that you're staying on top of your renewals and staying on top of... Um, um, anything that they're asking you to do, they a lot of the times they require more now than they used two years ago, like um, to do these little work programs. Stay on top of the work program or whatever it is they're requiring you to do so that you can have your benefits because they're really not asking for much from you, to be honest. OK, um, let me see. Is there anything else? Anything else? Budget. I know this is like don't really have anything to do with applying, but I just want to throw that in there budget use your stamps wisely you can make it stretch you know um you just have to shop like somebody that's on a budget and just we can do a whole separate video about that all right but um yeah and let's get into the nitty-gritty though because i'm i'm gonna start sneezing all on this video all right so you want to go to let me try to do a screen record real quick. You want to go to USA.gov. All right. This is for my people that are in the United States. And when you go to USA.gov, <clears throat> you'll go to government benefits, food assistance, and then food stamps, SNAP benefits. Okay. Um, and they're going to have... This little button here that says find your state snap office. All right. Uh, let me do Texas. Oh, uh, my goodness. Y'all do not feel good. Okay. They're going to have the name of the program by state. They're going to probably show you what the car looks like. Um, they're going to have the phone numbers that you can call. <clears throat> as well as the website where you can apply they're going to have the online application like for texas is your texas benefits.com and you just go on here and you apply for new benefits um let's do another state and there's so many little benefits too with that phone number and even when you apply for food stamps um if you're a woman they have the women's women's medicaid they have medicaid for you and your children they have um other things for pregnant women and or people with children um less to i don't know uh, let's do new york Okay, see, New York car looked different. I never knew that their car looked like this. All right, and then you have their, their SNAP website. Um, <coughs> there's this otda.ny.gov, okay? And they have the information, they have all type of things on here, income limits, like basically everything you need is gonna start with this first website that I gave y'all. And you can easily go to your state and get started on your application. Um, another thing that I wanna say is when you get approved for your stamps, there are so many other benefits that come with them like free entry to local museums, free entry to local zoos, children's museums. Um, you even get things like a Amazon discounts or Amazon account, prime benefits, um, free phone service, um, internet, 
disc super discounted internet rates and possibly free <coughs> excuse me y'all yeah so there are so many other benefits that come along with this um if you or someone you know is interested in learning more about the other benefits drop down in the comments and, and say hey i want to know more um and i'll come back with another video like walking y'all through how to get your free cell phones and your free cell phone service um how to get you know how to sign up for your your prime benefits or how to get your internet how to get your internet comped and I've actually worked for like one of the biggest internet companies okay um or internet providers internet mobile phone what the heck internet mobile phone home security all that um I've worked for the company as well so I can actually tell y'all from both sides how stuff works um from being a consumer but also being a person that's like getting a thing set up behind the scenes setting up your account um so i do have a nice amount of information when it comes to that and i just say take advantage of it you know there are so much opportunities out here you have to take advantage of it um if you or someone you know is going through any type of hardship and you need help with your rent check out my video about the companies that will pay your rent for you also if you need a loan i have several videos throughout my channel that talk about companies that will loan you money instant um cash advances personal loans and things like that and a lot of them are companies that i have actually used all right so i'm i'm trying to flood this channel with resources okay um, all i ask is that you Drop down in the comments if something helped you. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I'm going to catch y'all on the next video. Bye.